morning, everybody, and welcome to Axel Technology. Uh, my name is Enrico Vaccari. I'm sales manager in Axel Technology, and today I'm with uh, Claudio Astori, the radio specialist. Uh, for the session of today, we have people from Europe, from Africa, and from Asia. Welcome, everybody. Uh, for any in intervention on any questions uh, during the webinar, the presentation, please uh, look at the bell icon on the upper right corner and so you can just type your questions. Uh, today Stefano will assist us, uh, Stefano who organized the event uh, will assist us and collect your questions and uh, we have Gianluca uh, directing the, the event. So today we are going to, to, to talk about our DigiWare, which is the radio scheduling software. Uh, Claudio is, of course, a specialist and is uh, always, I think he has a, probably the best skill in this field, uh, uh, let's say, <laughs> uh, possible, uh, long experience, uh, and he will uh, drive us uh, through the presentation of DigiWare software. DigiWare is, again, part of our uh, software the collection, the suite uh, which uh, allows a radio station to manage the entire workflow from music scheduling, commercials and on-air playout recordings and so on. So, Claudio. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Up to you. <laughs> Hello everybody. I hope you are all well. Uh, we know there are people from several continents uh, uh, watching and participating. Thank you for that. And uh, here we are. So uh, our subject today is uh, the scheduling software of our suite. Uh, we just had uh, uh, a few webinars about the other components of our suite. We shared uh, uh, some time with you, probably with some of you, uh, regarding, of course, DJ Pro, which is the on-air system. Then we had also a webinar regarding RAMCOM, which is the traffic scheduling and business software. And uh, we also had, thanking to Marco Branzanti, a, a very vibrant, I would say, webinar regarding VJ Pro, that is the visual uh, radio solution by Axe Technology. Today, so we are completing our cycle of webinars about the radio suite, and we end with DigiWare, which is the scheduling part. Again, uh, we must inform you that you can purchase, you can use just DJ Pro. Uh, Ramcom and DigiWare are add-ons. Add so you can have a better performance of your DJ Pro system if you enhance the traffic scheduling part or the audio scheduling part that is DigiWare, which is the subject today. Now, um, let's have a look on, uh, on, on, on uh, DigiWare. And we can have it from here. I hope that our uh, Gianluca is also offering us the screen that is just uh, in front of me here at the um, Exit Technology Yeah, Gianluca uh, will help us to switch uh, from exactly. camera to the desktop uh, in order to show you the details of the user interface. OK, so um, you see we have uh, this is the menu of DigiWare. And just let me introduce to you that we have uh, in this scheduling software um, something that is um, uh, simple to understand, in my opinion, that is a, a sort of pyramid, a pyramid. So you have the first base of the pyramid that is the database. We have the database into DJ Pro. And then we have the rules. Upper, uh, in the upper part of the pyramid, we have the clocks and then the playlist, the scheduler at the top. So we, are, we have four floors. So imagine if you prefer not a pyramid or a house, okay, layers. a building. <laughs> layers. Yes, you have four floors, you have four la layers. Um, what we can uh, see from the uh, start here is something about the rules because, of course, songs and database are known. We have a DJ Pro database, which is, of course, filled with many fields. Just to show you, we have here um, a lot of uh, information that is available and that DigiWare can work uh, for us. That are, of course, information uh, regarding the song with attributes like BPM, mood, level, start type. We have any, any possible uh, field that can be then managed by DigiWare. 
But the most important uh, thing, I think, in rules uh, is this one, is categories. Why you should use um, DigiWare with DJ Pro and why you should uh, have more from DigiWare? Because starting from categories, you have a full management of rotations and controls. Uh, why this? Uh, category, first of all, is the most relevant um, field in uh, rules because it specifies songs that must rotate with the same rotation. So you don't create normally categories uh, because you want to separate rock from soul or uh, energy songs from uh, lower energy songs, no. Uh, you define categories and, and, and you use them in, the, in DigiWare because you want to control the rotation of songs being similar under this respect. So, it's for example... The frequency, so... The frequency, exactly. Okay. So if, if you want to set power songs that rotate, let us say, eight times a day or four days a day, then you create a category which is power and well, you can name it, thinking to DigiWare, in the, name, in, in the way you want. But the most important thing is once you have defined a category, then the songs are supposed to rotate in a similar way. So you can create your, uh, different degrees of frequencies thanking to frequency thinking, I'm sorry, uh, to categories. So you can have category power, category heavy, category medium. And these are normally categories set for um, currents. What are currents? Of course you know, but currents are the contemporary songs. Then you may have recurrents that have lower frequency, and then you have all these that need a lower frequency, of course, than currents and recurrents. So you see here we have some um, categories created as an example. But for example, if I take the category hit, I want to bring you in uh, uh, all the details that you can define in category, which is relevant, very relevant. So if I, I'm, I'm also learning today. So <laughs> if, if I'm right, uh, uh, the category is for grouping uh, songs uh, that are supposed to rotate with the same frequency and is not as not to be used as uh, you know for classifying my own music the pop uh, dance uh, or rock you have s we have attributes to uh, to cl qualify uh, songs for uh, sound codes for example humor energy but when you when you think of categories you want uh, to take control of the rate rotation Perfect. Uh, one in, in more relevant thing that you can control in digiware is that categories are then recalled in clocks. With clocks, we are talking about the upper floor, about the upper layer then, okay. So categories are very relevant because then you bring these decisions into the operation of the clocks as well. Uh, you see here, the controls are, are very powerful into, um, into DigiWare, and that's why we recommend DigiWare if you want to have a better schedule with, with, with uh, uh, DJ Pro and uh, for example you can set a priority a priority will help you then to decide which, are, which is the pass order in scheduling because of course categories with higher priority should be uh, programmed uh, before the other ones for example let us assume you have a contemporary radio station you have a lot of contemporary music you have a lot of currents but if you decide that the priority is the oldies, then you have first oldies be programmed on the 24 hours you want to schedule, and then currents will fill the, the, the needs of oldies. This means that you won't have control of the rotations, for example. So setting priorities is relevant. You can decide the frequency, you can decide the repetitions, you can decide uh, how far should be a song uh, from his next play, uh, this screen that you should see, I hope, uh, on the screen is uh, uh, really something that is uh, um, essential for control. Sorry, uh, Claudio, see? We, because we already have some uh, questions. Uh, the first one is, can DigiWare be integrated with other radio <coughs> automation? And if so, how? Uh, let me answer. Yes. Uh, and so, uh, at the moment, oh, first of all, DigiWare is available in two versions, for radio and TV. Of course, there are 
little difference because the, the, the rules and the, uh, the numbers of items per day in a, in a radio playlist then is, is very different from the, the one in, in, in TV. So at the moment, in radio, Digiware is an add-on for the Excel suite. So it's uh, for, uh, together with DJ Pro and, and, um, and Ramcom. Uh, in the next future, the answer is yes, probably by the end of the year, let me say, it will be uh, available as a standalone product. In TV, it's already like that. So the, how to integrate it with other automation? Uh, it's just an export or dependent. Normally, there are XML files, uh, um, TXT, or different kind of file format that allows you to interact between radio and, uh, uh, sorry, scheduling software and uh, automation and playouts. Uh, next question is, can we define custom parameters for build rules? Yes. Yes, yes. we have uh, custom uh, fields at, at this time before uh, it becomes uh, separated software, I would say. Yeah. We have uh, custom fields that can be prepared into DJ Pro. We have many ones dozens that you can create that you can customize so the label is exactly the name you want and then you can apply for that label the kind of work of the rule that you want so the answer is definitely yes we will see something uh, coming next about about that okay uh, thank you for your questions and please continue to do I will it, interrupt so. you during <laughs> the presentation okay um, so we, we just uh, started s seeing categories how relevant they are and uh, how ca personalized can they be, of course? Um, in this case, you see, of course, a category of hits, recurrence, and gold, which is quite typical. These are the three, three main category groups. But of course, you can decide to have just one category for the currents or, may, or, or more ones. And you can decide to have even um, several categories for the oldest, for example, dividing 70s from 80s or whatever. Um, one more thing about uh, DigiWare now. We will see something nice now. Uh, I would like to share some time with you regarding clocks. And so we are going directly for a moment. We will go back then to policies uh, because you see directly how powerful are categories in, the, in their use. Let us go to clocks. Uh, and clocks, uh, frankly, is another strong point in DigiWare because you don't need, you absolutely don't need a clock to be exactly 60 minutes long. This is quite revolutionary and I would say simple on other regards because if, for example, if you have a 90 minute program and you want to have a complete uh, look at the 90 minute, you, you don't have to separate the first 60 minutes from the following 30 ones, but you can have a clock that uh, has exactly the same list of events from the start to the end of that program. This is just an example, but uh, if you think at uh, your radio station, I think you will find uh, many areas of, of, your, of your grid um, requiring probably more flexibility uh, because maybe you have a 30 minute program, you have uh, um, some special items, and this is a, a nice freedom because then in the grid of the clocks that, that we will see next, you can, of course, put all these clocks in order uh, in order to have, in any case, 24 hours played at the end of the day. <laughs> so you don't have the 60 minute limit, but at the end of the day, you must have the coverage uh, of minutes uh, programmed, of course, to be able to, to have a prior day programming over the next one. So we do have flexibility to consider a clock as a, with a variable duration. Absolutely, absolutely, as long as they want. Uh, by the way, you should see from the screen that we have a, a, a great control. This is the list of the uh, uh, clocks that we've created very rapidly here. Um, you see, for example, if you, if you uh, take the first clock that is 0 to 1, it seems a night uh, clock. In any case, you see you have uh, uh, the representation of the duration. This is a, a clock uh, that lasts one hour, 17 minutes, yes, uh, sorry, and uh, 22 seconds. Uh, one very good thing that is um, not available uh, really in any software is that the calculation 
uh, is created thanking to a check of the category. So uh, what, what DigiWare does is uh, it controls the duration of all the files, exactly the files, from the mark in to the mark out, okay? And it, it, it calculates an average. So you have a clock with the highest uh, probability to be exactly round about the to duration match. that will then happen uh, after you schedule. So uh, and in whenever you can add here uh, elements, you will find, uh, of course, uh, um, an adjustment of that. Uh, let me show you that uh, in this case, we have uh, uh, several um, elements in the clock, se several events. You should know that uh, a clock is simply the list of the events going on. So it's, it's saying what is happening next after each event. And here you see a sequence where we have a time signal. This is thanking also to DJ Pro, thanking to DJ Pro, we can have for example, an external voice or an internal voice, I would say, announcing the hour, mm -hmm. and this is quite <coughs> useful. Then you have a visual jingle. In this case, we are connected to the visual radio that is just next in our uh, studio here. And then you see gold, recurrent, again, a visual a jingle, then a hit, then a visual jingle, then a gold, a recurrent, visual jingle, and a hit. It seems that in this case, the scheme is very simple. I have defined just three categories, gold, hit, recurrent, and I want simply in this case to have uh, these three categories going over and over. I can do, of course, something more complicated or more rich, I would say. I could have more golds and, 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 and less hits, for example. And the insertion, let me say, is extremely simple. You can easily add in clocks several elements that are in the right part of uh, the uh, screen here. Uh, you can add a time signal. You can add advertising in the clock. You can add a comment. That is essential. I want jocks to know uh, what they should do on the air before an event. I add a comment. This is precious because it comes out then uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the log file. Uh, you can add then um, an external command. We will talk about this because DigiWare has great features also in relating to the outside, I would say. Uh, we have then the capability of adding a simple file audio, something very quickly that arrived, or in any case, um, a specific file audio to be broadcasted. We can have, of course, a song, and then we have to look at categories and whatever. And we have audio commands, and we can have uh, also, uh, this is uh, the exit, so <laughs> nothing uh, reruns. OK. Uh, it's very simple. If you, I want to add another song, I go exactly at, to the point of the um, list of events where I want to add something. And if I need to add a comment, I click here. I describe what, uh, uh, I, I, in this case, uh, just a message, uh, a stop set. I, I want to just specify this. I click here, and you see uh, our uh, stop set regarding the time signal has appeared exactly where I want it. We can add also songs, of course. Um, and in this case, I can add uh, a specific song that, that is another nice option. Let, let me say I, I add Enrique Iglesias with Bailando. I want it directly here. So you see, I can add a category, or I can add even a specific song, because maybe there is a request. Or maybe uh, I um, decided with the, with, the, with, the, with the jock that a specific song must be played in that position. The good thing that you should notice uh, is that I have exactly the update of the duration of the clock whenever I add something. So if I must fit one hour and 30 minutes in my mind, I will know what, what is uh, still required to do so, to add uh, uh, elements. So uh, again, clocks is, is very powerful. You see, you can create as many clocks as you want. Um, again, here we created just a few ones. But I know <laughs> that good programmers um, like to create many. Um, maybe they create consistency, uh, similar clocks that have specific events being a little bit different from each other. 
we have a lot of uh, commands also to uh, copy clocks uh, into other ones and to edit them as, as you want it. I think it was uh, um, required by, by me to share some time with you regarding clocks because this is a quite a powerful uh, way of organizing um, songs uh, and particularly the, the list of the events. And again, you see it's very simple to add elements. It's very simple to have the right time thanking to the calculation of your audio library. So you have timing being always be controlled. Uh, clocks are relevant, you know, because uh, very simply they affect a lot also your frequency. If, let us say, in 24 hours in the clocks, we have defined 20 positions of hits and we have 20 songs, th normally one song will play once per day. So, uh, thanking to the clocks, you can have full control and you have, can have the respect also of the setup that you decided in, in, in the categories. Um, so, let us say, what can we do then we, uh, with clocks? Uh, because you see, we have uh, until now defined a specific clock, but we have not assigned uh, the clock yet in a certain time of the day or in a certain uh, moment of the week, for example. It's uh, a logical block so far. So far it's just a logical block, exactly. Uh, if we go to pre-schedule, okay, we have uh, a screen where you see on one end we have the list of the clocks coming back to us, just reminding us, hey, these are the clocks that you created, guy, and you can then place into the grid. And you see from uh, midnight to midnight, Monday to Sunday, in this case, I'm sorry, we have created a very basic <laughs> grid, <laughs> but effective, it works. Uh, with uh, two different uh, clocks alternating themselves at the end of the day. But again, you can uh, take a clock uh, from the left, uh, right part and put it uh, into a day and have a different effect. So uh, clock building is, is simple. You, you create the single clock and then you have uh, uh, the possibility of deciding wherever you have to put this clock in, in, the, uh, in the area. And it's no matter, you, you might have one clock repeating itself for the entire day of the entire week, or you can have uh, a huge number of, difference of different clocks uh, uh, lasting each one just 30 minutes. It depends on your radio project. And uh, so what I want to uh, suggest to you, and this means to us and to uh, programmers, freedom. Freedom is great. Not all the software, I should say, leave you in freedom. Freedom needs um, to have a good tool. And the good tool is the one that allows you to do whatever in your mind is. Of course, uh, warning you if there is something exceeding time, if there is something not respecting duration. But Digiur is certainly a, a software that, given how clocks are organized also, not only that, but clocks, uh, gives you total freedom to create different kind of radio stations. Uh, we call them internationally flux radio or format radio if you prefer. You can have a program driven station. Uh, for example, we have uh, big clients also using DigiWare in big uh, public st um, uh, stations. For example, in Italy, yeah. we are talking from Italy, we have RAI that is the public state, the state owned company. Yeah that is using uh, DigiWare for its program-driven station. Rai Radio 2 is an entertainment station with good numbers, I would like to add. <laughs> and Rai Radio 2 is definitely program-driven. So there are, so I think, 35 different programs in the entire week. And then, of course, programmers must feel partly the needs of the programs and partly the design of the radio station. And DigiWare is perfect for that. So, so did you adapt to the, absolutely. to the format you want to uh, give to your station and not vice versa? You do not have to follow the schema, uh, uh, let's say, obliged by the scheduling exactly. software. So, um, and clocks are relevant to this because uh, clocks allow you to create uh, exactly rotations and uh, 
logs uh, to your specifics and not to, um, I would say, rules that are given by the software. You have the power to, to do whatever you want. So we can have plenty of uh, clocks, uh? clocks uh, on, our, on the left here. And we can also have several pre um, Pre exactly, pre-schedules. Pre pre-schedules. Uh, by the way, of course, we have here a lot of tools. I don't want to go in too deep too much, but of course, if you have a change, you can prepare a grid before uh, the time. So you, you don't have to change right on time, but you can simply create another grid with uh, all the different organization that you want, and at a certain day that you decide, the grid will change. So, that so I can prepare, for example, the schedule for next Christmas time or winter season. Or summer, or, or in summer. August. <coughs> I create, okay. I create uh, a new grid with maybe more music and less talk, maybe. And, uh, 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 and I can do that whenever I want. And a certain day, the grid will be changed because so-called pre-schedule will change. OK? I, I hope you're not getting bored by these uh, details. I don't want to be but too detailed. The scope of today's webinar is to explain the philosophy of, uh, of the scheduling software more than going deep in detail, uh, exactly. button per button and function per function. I promise I, I, I won't hurt you uh, with clocks anymore today. So <laughs> this, this, I think, is, is, is enough. Uh, what can we uh, look then? Well, it's very simple. The, the principle of Dijur uh, is that once you have uh, your songs, once you have your rules, well, uh, once you have your clocks, then the scheduler works, starts working. It's you deciding now it's the time to schedule today. And what does Digiware? Very simple. Digiware goes from the top of the building of uh, lay layers, goes down to clocks, read all, reads all the clocks, okay, that are required, for example, for tomorrow, uh, then checks the rules and works in the database in order to bring into the clocks the songs that respect the rules. Very simple. So uh, why I'm talking about a pyramid or um, a sort of building? Because it's, um, it's a sort of um, uh, scheduling a sort of elevator going down and going down, with, then back to the top with the list of songs after this process. This process is, is very, very clear in, in terms of steps. Um, so I would like to show you something now about the scheduler. And uh, of course, uh, in the scheduler, you, we, we go to the so-called playlist. Let, let me tell you this. Playlist is the new term of schedule. I think this comes from uh, the record companies. When the record companies that are very powerful uh, talk about radio station, what they transmit, they name this playlist. So, uh, for many people, for m most, playlist is the list of the songs that are played, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, in our old-time uh, radio uh, fashion way, the playlist was simply the list of the songs that were um, capable of going on the air. So it was just the list of the songs that were authorized to go on the air, not the final product, because the difference is that you select the music, and when you program, then you have the schedule done. Uh, now, playlist is, is all the process and also the end of the process. Uh, but this is just something regarding uh, uh, a term. Uh, now, we have programmed, uh, I have just programmed July the 1st. I think we do, did it uh, yesterday. We can go into and see how um, the, um, the schedule of DGWR looks like. So I, this is today's schedule. This is today's schedules. This is uh, the final product of uh, our songs, of our policies I, um, th that uh, have been set, and of our clocks. Okay? And the schedule of Digiur brings to your attention the result. And it's very powerful. You see, you see something with the same colors you used in the clocks. And uh, I should underline that the use of uh, colors in DigiWare is very important, is customizable. And I think it's nice uh, to have, for example, uh, all the hits uh, that uh, are orange or all the um, jingles uh, that are green. Of course, 
it depends on your eyes. Uh, it depends on you, or on your tastes. But using colors is really relevant because you see the sequence of the events and you immediately know what's going on. Uh, you see that now we have not just, as in the clocks, um, the list of the events. We have exactly what the software has brought to your attention. So in this case, for example, you see Boyfriend by Ariana Grande and Social House. Then you see uh, How Long by Charlie Puth. You see Wolves by Selena Gomez. You see all the songs. But you will see also uh, jingles. Here we have an Axe Radio Keep Calm. <laughs> That's, it's, uh, it's another addition to our programming. So you these are the list of songs that match the rules uh, and has been selected by the, the engine. Okay, so uh, of course, the good thing is that you can count, thanking to DigiWare, to um, um, the proposition by the software, but, and this is again freedom, you can change it. You will so can I change a song on the, on the grid? Yes, and why that? Because, uh, guys, you are the boss, you are the master, and maybe there is something um, that is, uh, um, um, th th this is something I interesting. Uh, let, let me show how you can change, for example, a song. Okay? So, um, I, I am, for some reason, I am not um, uh, too happy about Feel This Moment by Pit Pitbull. So, I click, and as you see here, I have all the other songs that can be. Um, that can be uh, selected of the same category, of, of different categories of what. I, I can, of course, look for the ones that I need. In this case, the replacement of the song can be even in different categories. Some people prefer to change uh, a song in the same category, but you, are, um, you have the chance of doing whatever you want on this regard. Um, show passages, this is uh, the information that shows you, once you are looking for specific songs, about which were the previous plays of the songs. This is very important, because you might select a song that is just at the, uh, placed uh, again in the final part of the previous hour, and uh, the so-called manual uh, scheduler allows you to check if artist conflicts, song conflicts are um, violating the rules you set. So uh, the good thing about this screen is that you have uh, full control because you decide what is uh, the final log to be sent, for example, to DJ Pro. You are in charge, you are in the power, and this is ve very, very relevant. But at the same way, uh, you can have all the assistance of the software in order to make the best choices in order not to um, add a song that has been just played uh, one hour ago if you decided, for example, that the minimum separation should be three hours. One more question is, uh, can I limit uh, the song emission, in example, passes per day or per week? Uh, so. Yes, uh, the question is interesting and is regarding limiting the songs. Uh, yeah. Let me tell you, uh, W were you adding something? No, no. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Uh, that you can do this uh, while inserting the song, and uh, we insert the song regarding Axel Technology Radio Suite in DJ Pro. So if you want to limit a song in the song manager, you have something fantastic that is uh, exclusions, or if you want to call them so, restrictions. It see, so if you have a, a restriction that is so in a certain way forever, then you can decide which hours, which days, in which months the song should not be uh, on air. A and typical this is example is a Christmas song and you just enable all the month of the year except December, maybe November. So For example, there are certain oldies that once uh, the return on air they remind you of summer, of a nice beach, of holidays, probably because of the sound also, but 
you, you associate the, those songs to the good times of summer and maybe you prefer not to play that kind of song in different um, seasons of the, of the year. This is another example. Um, maybe you have uh, a dance song with, with, a, with a remix which is extremely powerful and you don't want to play that particular version in the morning or in the early afternoon and you decide to play it later. So there are several issues. But this information, these parameters, so enable or disable specific day, hours or month is something you do just once when you insert the song into the database and this information will be used then in the, in the scheduling rules. Uh, yes, uh, what you can do is, um, and this is uh, the first limitation that I would recommend, so if uh, there is something uh, in the structure of the song that must be limited, limited then you go here and, uh, and you set uh, exactly the, the exclusion, the, the, the restrictions, yes. Um, then, getting back to um, DigiWare, well, you can, uh, in the categories, of course, limit the song. We can go back to categories for a moment. And uh, in the screen of the, you can decide uh, the previous messages the priority, the frequency, uh, the, the maximum number of songs. And you can do this also uh, for specific songs also. So the answer is yes, you can control. What I recommend, however, for, a, for the best uh, um, work of the software is that you take control of the rotation uh, as a whole. So again, if you have a category with uh, 100 uh, positions in a day in your clocks, uh, then of course, uh, and you have 200 songs, then what you expect probably is that there are a couple of plays in a day. If you set that song to, be, to play, of course, at least four, day, four times or not more than one, of course you can do that, but this will certainly affect also the other rotation. So if this is just an exclusion, uh, it's just one song, uh, that, that's, that's by, uh, that, that's fantastic. But if you do this for any song, that you lose control of the rotations. So please be careful about that. I yeah, would add... Normally I'm suggesting is never exceed putting too many controls exceptions. and checks or exception or else uh, if for a specific category you don't have enough songs on your database, then this will really affect uh, the, let's say, the, 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 the selections of uh, audios. Let, let me um, give you another small advice. Sometimes you hear some, something on the air which is not good. And uh, you must be very good on that and very rational. So you must understand, is this a problem of selection or is this a problem of programming? So you should immediately understand what's going on because maybe this is a song you were thinking oh that song I'm not too sure about that song in this case don't hesitate kill that song <laughs> or protect the song more than before this is a selection problem in a other cases there might be a programming case wow why am I hearing two consecutive rock songs something wrong with it and then you immediately then understand that is a category, that is a uh, programming problem. And maybe you have classified one of the two songs not for rock, while it is a rock station, while it is a rock song. And this is the problem why the computer that has not an automatic control of sound codes, of course, uh, puts the two songs one after the other. So if you work with DigiWare, with DigiWare you can do that. And each day, you understand on the air what's going on and you correct then the rules. You a little fine tune the, the rules. You will have then certainly Mr. DigiWare allowing you a very good programming in a very short time. By the way, uh, let us make a test because uh, some software has very, very, very long uh, times for, uh, for schedule. Believe me, DigiWare is a complex software, very rich with a lot of controls, and we should allow some time. But let us go to the playlist, creation editing, and let me ask the software to create uh, the uh, rotation for tomorrow. So we are scheduling now 
the 24 hours that will take place tomorrow. And let's see how much time it will require. I, I should tell you it's not seconds, it will take a while, but at the end you will have a full control software that is giving you all the events specifically even, and this is a feature I would like to tell you, even with a perfect match between music and non-music elements because we can match, thanking to DigiWare, also a song uh, with a perfect jingle so that they can really give to the audience a nice impact in terms of, uh, of, uh, of notes, in terms of music, in terms of sounds. Uh, one additional, uh, sorry, should start now. Oh no, it's already done, it's already done. Okay, so uh, it took, it took one, uh, one minute and 36 seconds to program an entire oh, no, day. It's uh, running once again. It, uh, it's oh, never mind. Oh, so, sorry. You I press again the button. But the uh, in one minute and 30 seconds, you have uh, a final product that if you worked each daily for the fine tuning of your sound, of your decided sound, well, that, that's a big deal, frankly. That's a big deal. Okay, let me just recap, recap for those that uh, joined the webinar a little late. Uh, we went through first the categories. So we were talking about how to classify the music using a field called category, where category means a grouping of songs that are supposed to rotate with the same frequency. That's first. Second, we had a look at the clock, where the concept of clock is a block of items, uh, and where the clock, uh, in Dijur, the concept of clock is not limited or does not force you to think about 60 minutes, but gives you the flexibility and the freedom to uh, relate the clock duration to your, the format of your station, to the program that is dri driving the, the show. And so from category to clock, from clock, then we uh, spend a few minutes looking at the uh, pre-schedule, pre -schedule. Pre which is the, basically the, the composition of the 24-7 uh, daily playlist uh, with the possibility to create a different uh, pre-schedule per each day of the week and eventually also to prepare the pre-schedule for the next season. So uh, now we are in summer here in Italy at least and uh, we can start working on the next season uh, pre-scheduling so with the winter season or whatever and latest uh, we were generating daily playlists for a specific day or for a specific Sorry. duration yes so definitely uh, where is did you were here we are last one okay uh, let us reduce this okay great um, yes uh, we, we, we also showed uh, the creation, yes, uh, for those who missed uh, the part of the clocks, just let me add uh, that um, you can create as many clocks, of course, as you want, and the insertion of elements into the clock, into the list of events, ev uh, uh, events is very simple. You have these very clear buttons. You have a time signal that can be inserted, advertising, comment, comment is relevant to me, it's, it's, it's a nice feature. Then you have uh, external comments, and this just to remind you also that you can connect DigiWare uh, with wh whatever you want. You have an external event, for example, a satellite transmission. Yeah, comments can be any, let's say, the, of course the daily playlist is not made of song only. It's also made of commands, it means interaction between the play out and external devices, uh, uh, feeds coming from uh, outside. So uh, the, the embedded into the daily playlist, uh, we can put some technical uh, information about uh, routing switchers, uh, 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 running special event, uh, stopping the playlist for a live show, and so on. So it's a very comprehensive uh, management of the playlist. It doesn't, it's not limited only to create you know, uh, a, uh, a stack of, our, of songs. <coughs> you can even put into a simple file audio that, that's the highest flexibility, whatever it is, you put it he, there you want. Uh, then we have, of course, the songs, uh, afterwards audio commands, and then 
we have it. Yeah, a so specific file can be a mixed, one hour mixed file from This is a, a nice DJ. question coming. <laughs> uh, the next question is, can I manage multiple channels? Can I set some connection between them? And once yes. again, the answer is yes, of course. I would, uh, uh, at the end of the, the presentation, uh, I would like to spend a few words, but I can do it right now, about the licensing and how you can use the software. Digiware can there's start with the 31st package uh, for one single radio station, uh, which is maybe the majority of uh, medium, small size of broadcasters. They just run one radio station. But for those that are running a multiple channel environment, yes, of course, you can create a multiple um, playlist, multiple, configure multiple radio stations. This also share the same database through the, of course, only talk, talking about songs because for sure jingles, every radio station has its own jingle. But yes, you can configure multiple channel and a single operator can decide to work on a specific radio. There is a user right management that allows you to give the rights at the operators to operate on radio one and maybe me on radio number two uh, with different rights to delete or add or modify. And so, the, you, you may have multiple people participating at the generation of the daily playlist. For example, I can be in charge of my own show. Uh, I'm the station manager and I like to uh, control specifically my daily show, while Claudio may have mm, at the same time work on the afternoon show, which is uh, a different uh, content. Uh, yes, uh, I was just willing to show this uh, screen where you can definitely uh, select, for example, for the station B, the songs from station A. So clicking on the song, you create the database for station B. Very simple. There are group um, uh, screens like this uh, in uh, DigiWare, and also a lot of screens are definitely thought for multiple programming. So I think that... As far uh, as I remember, I'm not, I'm not a user but I think with the, on the desktop, with the right click, you can decide to operate on radio number one or exactly. radio number two. It's very, very from... Not here, but, but we have... Okay. A Another question is, is Digiware the tool to schedule visual radio as well? Yes, yes. of course. Yes. And in the, in the approach to the visual radio of, of Excel technology, in fact, when you are creating the playlist of the radio, since radio is leading, so uh, I repeat, visual radio in Excel technology philosophy is a, an add-on to the radio. So this is intended for successful radio station. And so the, the, the radio playlist is leading the, the let's say, the, the, the format. And so once you are done with the radio scheduling, automatically video follows. So actually, once you are done here, the job is finished and the video will be played automatically by the visual radio automation. Um, uh, yes, uh, one thing I would like to add, uh, we are, by the way, stepping, uh, unfortunately, uh, at the end of the webinar, uh, and still, of course, willing to answer your questions. But what is important to uh, tell to you is that uh, DigiWare is not only the best companion for music scheduling. I would say it's the best companion uh, for people working in the music office because we know, you all know, that in the music office uh, you, you select music, you schedule music, you schedule then all the other elements, of course, uh, but you need a lot of services from the software because you have to give a lot of services. What? We, we, what services? For example, rights reports. This is very important. In each country, uh, you, need to, um, um, you need to sort of uh, provide to the uh, authorized companies the list of the songs you played. And you will see that regarding uh, um, uh, all uh, the different countries, we already have a lot of uh, registers already available for but different think, Claudio, We do have time, I think, so we, um, if you want to just show a few other screenshots, okay. feel free and... Okay, uh, because I think one strong part again is that DigiWare helps you in the um, music office 
and it gives you a lot of services that are the ones that are required by the people working there. So this is the most relevant because you have to fit the rules in your country in order to um, certificate what's uh, your on-air playlist. Um, and then we, we have a, a huge number, as you see here, of, uh, of uh, different uh, um, services. So you can uh, have also um, analysis. You, you can have uh, a control, for example. You can rebuild the passages. You can delete plays. Um, notification ma maintain. It definitely, DigiWare gives you a lot of uh, services in many languages. So I would like also to spend some time on that because yep. we have at least five languages. Yeah, and at the end, it's also, let's see, a sixth one could be added. Uh, it's just a matter of customization and eventually a, a support in the translation, but it, of course, allows you to add additional languages. And regarding also, let me say, other software, uh, it's very simple. It, it's Windows, I know. Uh, but you can have here a very nice representation of all the uh, windows you opened. And th this is very important because music people normally are very creative in a radio station. They open a lot of uh, windows simultaneously. Uh, they want to edit a clock and at the same time they want to maybe check the grid or even um, control a song or uh, analyze uh, what, what's going on. Uh, so. I just wanted to underline that um, services is a key point uh, for DigiWare that helps you also in one another relevant aspect that I want to underline is the management of the so-called splits. I would like to share some time with you, Enrico, about splits because uh, uh, splits is when you divide uh, your area for maybe a few minutes during an hour and yeah. you separate your advertising depending on the air area. What beautifully DigiWare does is that helps you to fill uh, that uh, kind of uh, area, even with songs, if you have e enough time in order to have uh, songs to be filled. Yeah, in particular, if you are operating with DigiWare that is uh, taking care about the 24-7 hour per day, uh, together with Ramcom, which is our scheduling software, not only, the manager of advertisement. Uh, this allows you to get the maximum out of the, let's say, uh, interaction between the two softwares. And if, if on one area of your uh, coverage you have no commercial, then with Digger you can fill the gap and uh, play music instead of commercials. And so this is again to optimize and to deliver the top quality and from the artistical point of view, the most, uh, uh, up, let's say, um, agreeable um, quality of, of, uh, of, uh, of audio. Great. Uh, just uh, one quick look about uh, some rules. Uh, this is uh, a screen that, uh, of course, is not very creative because it's, it's a list of the rules. We cannot add too many colors there. Uh, but to tell you uh, something about the rules, uh, of course, that um, are uh, in the second floor, as we told of our pyramid. But, well, in this case, you see we have, for example, set a distance uh, because uh, uh, if, we, if you hear, if you have a, an e-pop song, uh, you don't want another hip-hop song uh, after, uh, after that, so you want to separate. Yeah. And you can, of course, uh, add as many rules as you want. Um, you can uh, decide if the rules uh, is of songs, uh, which kind of, uh, of, of protection you want. For example, you want some protection for me, mood. You want uh, uh, a, a specific mood, for example, in certain um, times of the day. I want uh, mood just from 1 to 4. I don't want mood 5 in the morning. I set here the rule. It will probably affect the policy that you, we want for that specific hour and that's, and that's it. So um, yes, uh, we don't all have uh, only the power of clocks. On the second floor of our uh, DigiWare building we have policies that can of course affect certain areas 
of uh, uh, certain air shifts of the day. This does not go in conflict with clocks because you can have clocks organized in a certain way, you have events organized in a certain way, but for uh, clocks, for example, in the morning, you want to have music uh, respecting different rules from the late morning and from the afternoon. Maybe more rhythm, maybe more national music. Uh, you can have a full control over the week, over the day, over, I would say, the minute so of now, whatever you go. Together with the blocks and clocks uh, and so on, once you are done and it's, you identify the category that can be selected, then yes. you can apply an additional level to, for the fine tuning and to restrict the exactly. selection of audio, maybe according to BPM difference between songs. And this can be managed independently by, by the, the clocks. By the clocks. Okay. okay. We do have another question. This is from Radio Maria France. Is it possible to see a last broadcasting date and hour of songs or, for example, an interview to be able to replace it with another sound element? Possible to see a last broadcasting date? Uh, I, I, frankly, uh, the question uh, to me is not completely clear. I'm trying to uh, understand that. So uh, let, us let us go to a schedule, for example, the schedule of, of today of, or yesterday, and we have here. Um, playlist creation. Here we are. Let us go into that. And the question is, can I? Is it possible to see the last broadcasting date? I think you want. They want to see when it went on air last time. When an item went on air last time. Yes, uh, we we we, sh we actually showed date it before. Uh, yes, we actually showed it before when um, we we show the command of the manual schedule. Now let's reopen it again. I'm sorry. Yes, here. You see, you can ask here, last passage, for, for example, I'm sorry, uh, it was here, show passages, okay. So if you click over here, Joel Curry, sorry, you have uh, the immediate control of all the previous uh, and uh, um, plays of the song, but you have also the previous uh, artist plays, so you control as you have to do in radio, both the song and the artist, because you, you want also to have a different control of the artist separation, because I can accept two Michael Jackson songs in two hours, but of course not the same song. Uh, this is key. I hope this answered your question. This is in practical how you Maybe can see I that. I think there was another screenshot I remember with ballets. Yes, uh, it's possible, yes. Uh, you you can have other view. control. Normally, uh, I, I show it here because normally you like to do these uh, controls directly on the scheduler. So, uh, because so in this case, I am, I'm working on the two-day schedule yes. and I have this information available while I'm working on the Exactly, on because the of course on, you, you normally set the rule, the separation, and then when it comes to the scheduler here is that you need this information because you want to know if you have to change something and you can do that. So, um, so what I want to say is during this uh, the today webinar, we uh, often uh, spend a few words about other items of the workflow. So we, today we were focusing on DJWR music scheduling, but as well we were referring to Rancom advertisement management to uh, VJ Pro Visual Radio or DJ Pro Radio Automation and Playouts. So feel free, you can find uh, other webinars we already did uh, on our website and so you can eventually go there, download or look on uh, YouTube uh, those videos so you, uh, maybe you can have a better and comprehensive overview of the uh, suite. A uh, few words uh, uh, as well um, about the DigiWare, uh, let's say a DigiWare installation on your, on your environment. So normally DigiWare is running on a server let's say the, the database and everything is running on a, is on the is on a server and you can install the software on multiple computer on several computer on your network because maybe i can operate with the in the morning and other, my colleague in the afternoon so the also the license uh, the licensing model is uh, based on floating licenses so i may have only one user uh, and i can use that license in the morning and new Claudio in the afternoon. So we can share the same license if we are not working simultaneously. So also this Allah gives you a very nice flexibility. And again, multiple channel, multiple user 
uh, can be configured according to the license you are willing to configure and purchase. Uh, I, I'm, um, Enrico is the sales manager of the company. Let me tell you, I'm the radio specialist here, just the radio specialist. Enrico uh, is a great radio guy because great radio guys listen a lot. You know, this is the key secret. You are a good radio guy Thank if you. you listen a lot. He is listening a lot to you, to you clients, to you potential clients. So feel free to contact Enrico and his uh, sales staff for uh, any questions, even the technical questions, because they have a wonderful feedback within the company from the technical department and from the support. So if you have questions regarding uh, the creation of uh, a system with DigiWare included, I'm sure you're in excellent hands. And also, if you have questions, we are happy to read your questions and to answer. Our support is really um, excellent in providing solutions to each of you. So again, have a look at, at the other webinars available on our, on our website. Uh, feel free to contact us at exceltechnology.com. Sorry, the email is uh, sales uh, at exceltechnology.com. Uh, thank you for a moment, and we will be happy to see you at the next webinar. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you for, from us. Thank you.